there's a, a really small but a significant civic space on the border between San Diego and Tijuana that most people have never heard of called Friendship Park. Um, for decades, many decades, it's where undocumented people would go to the border and talk to their relatives and friends because they couldn't cross when they come back in. We've been uh, working for four years with Homeland Security trying to make this a more humane place to go to and visit. Forty years ago, it was really different. There was just a piece of barbed wire. Right after this photograph was taken, the first lady had security, this, her security people clipped the fence, and she walked into Mexico shaking hands with being a politician, hugging babies. Forty years from now, there's going to be a binational city in this site, Friendship Park. There's going to be shops, there's going to be places to live, there's going to be great civic open spaces. So much can change in 40 years. And this is part of what we're working to achieve. In the now, in the today, we're trying to do a really simple thing. Homeland Security has built a second fence, making it almost impossible to approach the inner fence. Really difficult to. We're trying to affect that inner boundary to create a more convenient place to go and to visit. And it is a super ugly space to be in. It's a really tough thing we're trying to do. We're, uh, we're a lot like the breeze type things. Um, can, can take a really mighty tree, like a Tory pine, and, and bend it to the way that we want it bent. But the sustained action that we've been doing and will continue to do, I think we will have a big impact. A big, a big impact in the end. What we're trying to do is get, uh, well, this is a, before we get to that, this is the condition uh, now, the existing condition. Two 20-foot fences, both on the U.S. territory, and then on this side of it, because there's jurisdictions of federal land and state land, there's a kind of no man's land. It's just They don't know how to treat it. They're not treating it. It's a really uncomfortable place to go. When you go inside between these superimposing 20-foot tall fences, you're corralled between these five-foot tall, uh, really inhumane, uh, people corrals and they only let up to 20 people inside there at once. There's always a border patrol agent in there. It's not at all conducive to families talking to families talking to friends. We're demanding uh, access to three major points. Access to the beach, access to the monument, and access to the binational garden that we're, we're, uh, we're working on to the east, to the east of the monument. The simple move we're going to make um, is make a 60-foot hole in the northernmost fence. Now, we, it has to have a certain amount of operational security, so we're envisioning a rolling gate. The Border Patrol is really strict about operational security. We had to do a design that they could control, but with a really optimistic feeling towards what it can become in the future. On the inside, this is phase three. This is not something they're going to help us with, but they're going to allow us to put limited street furniture uh, DV, DG, decomposed granite paving, some uh, concrete paving, some trees even, some walkways, places where people can come and picnic, throw in the gate as much as possible. We can put limited trees in the space, and it's really neat kind of synergy that's developed with state parks to the north. They said whatever tree you choose, they'll plant that same tree in their park, and the landscape architects on the Mexican side have already you know, developed their whole Park long ago, they said they plant some of those same trees. So there's kind of like a really, really nice feeling of solidarity that's developing. Already, people are planting the binational garden. Um, it's binational in the sense that you can water it from either side. It's being watered. It's being watered for now. It's being watered from the Mexican side only. They fail to water it. Border Patrol gives us no water. So uh, people go out, like Dan Walkman and several others go out, and they get some plant. When we, when we talk to Border Patrol, we can do anything we can to convince them. We even quote the uh, treaty, the Hidalgo Treaty, where it talks about friendship, talks about good neighbors. This is in the treaty language. We say, you see, Border Patrol, the treaty says you have to be good neighbors. So, you know, we think you should. I think it might have an effect down there somewhere deep. We, inside, we've divined, we remember seeing that kind of cattle car area. We've convince them just to do low haulers that you see in state parks with uh, looping ropes between them that are uh, adjustable. You pull them out to make them super wide or pull them in if they feel like there's some sort of threat level. This is the reality that we have to work with them. At the same time, we do not trust them. 
they built this huge watchtower. We've been meeting them for, for years, like two years. Suddenly, one weekend, this goes up. No work from them at all. No description was going to happen, nothing. So um, we're, 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 never, uh, we're never sure where we stand with them. The next thing they did, they put the, the border marker, and they rebuilt the fence to the north of it. The border marker is no longer on the border. It's 100% on the Mexican side. Which, I don't know if that makes, makes the Mexican citizens that happy anyway, seeing as the, the border marker was caused by a war that they lost. And I don't know how the war and the field towards the market to begin with. Here's the, here's the rolling gate being built right now. They, they're going forward with the gate, a 60-foot gate. And I'm not sure how much it costs, but they probably put a quarter million dollars into just that gate when you're talking about federal bid process. So we are making some small inroads. We're starting with the, the Friendship Park. There's going to be a binational park on that same site, a true binational park, within the next 20 years. There's going to be a binational city on that site in 40 years. Think about that image in 1971. The change has been monumental. It's going to be monumental again. The best security that we can have with Mexico is to be good neighbors and to be good friends and to work on our trust. The militarization of the border is so destructive that we have to create a part that lets the citizens of the U.S. and the citizens of Mexico remember that we are still friends. And it is a very important symbol in a very ugly place. Can we strengthen the ties between our countries?